Hi everyone, this is Kayla Calva from cleverpacks.co.uk and uh, this is day three on our love week. So we're all getting ready for Valentine's Day, but there is lots of little things that we can actually give to our friends. And I thought that could be a nice treat for uh, some of my friends actually that I'm going to be seeing by the weekend. And I was wondering how could I get something quick done and some of the something that would be easy to do and I got this die, die set which is this mini treat bag thing like die for a long long time I've used the little dies the wording inside of it but I end up never using the bag itself and when I got this glass line from falling in, uh, from sending love sweet and I thought I really wanted to work with this and see how can I actually make it um, something delicate with this paper because it's so so the attention to detail the same pattern you have here you have inside of this design series paper um, sending love as well so you can actually ma mix and match them together what I'm what I did here I actually prepare every single part that we needed to die cut in advance because it will be too much of a, a hassle actually to do it. So that is the sending love. And we are using today this one, this paper. The only reason why I'm using a little scrap of it is because there is the area where we glue and you will see when I show you when we are doing it that we have this little seam going on on the front of the bag and that was bugging me. So let me just put this to the side and get all the bits that I've already die cut. So inside of the mini treat bag, you come with a series of small die cuts. In this case, I've used the heart. We all about love this week. And I use a lot of scraps of paper, leftovers. I do that quite often. This one is the wrap that is going to go around our bag. I also cut it. This comes with, uh, within the same set. But I actually took all the hearts and put it inside of the bag once it's ready. So it's like a little bit of confetti inside of your, your bag. So let's leave it here on the corner. And the main one... These glass lines, glassine lines, which is, they come on six by 12. So this is how they come. There are 10 sheets of paper. And once it's cut, you can have, this is the two bits that we need for the bag. And you still need have a leftover. So in reality, you could actually get another one of these here on the side out of one sheet of paper okay and this is the largest set that we have is a snuggle fit with it and will fit precisely in your big shot so let me just put it all out just keep the bits that we actually need and there is one little bit of scoring to be done which goes in on our wrap I prefer to do it. I start doing just by hand, but it, it did not work for me. It's just a, a quick, and I'm going to use my trimmer for that. I, because I die cut, I actually slightly measure what I want. So the first one is one inch. Let's take the blade from We just need scoring. So we score at one. Three and three quarters. Um... I did the measure on this four and three quarters. Yes, it's four and three quarters. And four and seven eighths. That's all you need to do. It's just because I wanted to be able to actually um, slide down when it's coming. So I do need to, to very close the score lines just to give me a little bit of space here. And this one just fold 
what is going to happen here if you see this one I want to use the triple burner punch it again this is one and a half inches wide I want the triple burner to make this work and all that we need to do because this is one and a half inches is to slide this inside here and we'll fit on the second lip it will go eventually here see we go all the way to the end and we punch so now we have the burner I think it's a bit mm, I think I'm gonna trim this a little bit more because I don't want it to be that far off now it's gonna be way closer than, than the other one but I don't mind so let's go and see if you don't mind to be longer go for it so you just needed to fit here so you know there's right in the middle let's just hold it properly so okay oh much better okay so I had to punch twice you could have taken um, an inch out of the paper then on this length because this length was the full length of an A4 piece of paper another one of my Christmas scraps so this is all done with the scoring and I just needed to do the stamping now what I've done I've I wanted to do use the real red which are the colors that we're using for this um, for the paper and the accent colors in this paper as well and before I do that a tip if you actually use Wink of Stella afterwards it's gonna smudge so what I wanted to do was just add a little bit of glimmer to this paper so I'm using my Wink of Stella gold Wink of Stella here in the paper Try not to squeeze too hard because it could actually make a mess. I've done that before. <laughs> Just wait for a couple of seconds. It will dry. Get your stump ready. And come here and just stump. So now it's ready just to um, assemble it away so we have all the bits that we need so we have what is gonna go around the only thing here that is missing is the animals and normals <laughs> me and my accent <laughs> is this package comes with gold and silver is the metallic enamels okay so I'm gonna use the gold one I just wanted to show you guys there is more to it the glass uh, glass sign uh, paper is really there's very thin, so we just needed to find where the scoring is because the scoring comes with the die when it's dyed is is scored as well. So you just needed to gently pinch and pinch on this side as well. Just don't want to make marks on where it doesn't need to be. Let me just be more. Get the right. Yes. I'm trying to be very, very gentle with this because they are, they need to be. So the only places that we're going to need to add glue is on this side, on this edge, and on this edge. So there are three places the bottom. Part. I'm feeling like I'm breaking it. This side here. And I'm going to put some glue in this side too. It's just a matter of patience okay so I'll just added glue to my 
to my desk and I don't want to rip anything else. If you haven't seen this, this is a glue remover. Saves my life every time. So let me just get these things together and I'm going to glue this part. Here. Just follow the edge, matching the edges. And then you match this edge here. As I told you, there is some glue here because when I was putting on, it was spilling on the side. Just take your time. If you gently pull, uh, rub this, the glue remover. It will actually do the job. Okay, so now we have the bag ready. I, because I don't like to see this edge here, I'm going to add a simple piece of half an inch. Yeah, the half an inch strip that I cut before. And I'm just going to add to the edge. I'm just cutting a little bit of the top because it, it, it does go over. Let me just get it out. So I'm just trimming by eye just keeping the same shape that you have here on the top bit of your bag easy just add it glue to it I'm using fast fuse just because the first thing that I have beside me here and with this I don't see the trim anymore so it's just the bag delicate as it should be and ready to put some chocolate inside I found this chocolate the first time in Amsterdam last year. And funny enough, I found it again in, I think it was Audi last week. I love it. And um, I'm just going to a couple of bars, as you see. It's nearly over. Nearly all gone. I've given them most of, mostly. I'm just going to leave it like that. It's just add gluing here on the on the bottom and I'm gonna see what's going on in a bit. The last thing that you need to do is just to glue this bit here. Add a couple of strips of, and just let it fall into place. Don't, don't try to force it out, see? And then you can come and add, let me just get this here. into place so let's just get the label together what I'm gonna do I want to this little hearts inside of my bag so a little bit of confetti these are the hearts that were cut from here so the only thing that we actually need to do now is to place the label and get the heart in place as well the sentiment and the heart so I did before we just I just came here and just cut a little bit of a, a pointed arrow and same on this side just got a little bit of an arrow pointy going on doesn't have to be symmetric we're hiding this uh, area here and all that we need is just a little bit of fast fuse Again, it's the easiest glue around. I'm going to add this here on the theme of our love week. And I am, if I can find my bone folder. Sorry. It's just a slid to the, under the, the pile of paper. Just get a little bit of dimension on the heart. Okay. And we're going to add a little bit of glue here as well. Just a little bit right down in the middle. And here we have. I'm going to come with a couple of these hearts. Actually, I could have a heart here. And another heart underneath on the wrap. 
how easy is that i know that die cutting is um take a little bit of time but it's well worth it to do slowly for this project this is all that we have for for today you can actually get 10 bags of this and each in each actually i managed to get 12 bags like this from a pack of glass and uh, paper so i hope you enjoy have a look on the promotions the celebration going on every 45 pounds that you spend you have a free product to choose from our list and i hope you enjoy and happy crafting bye